Welcome back guys, High Tech Lab here. In today's video I have a Victron demo system here on the bench. I'm using the ESS Assistant and doing some testing where essentially we use the external current sensor for the Multi Plus 2 and um, there's a few different batteries on the table. These are three of the SOK battery 206 amp hour batteries. These are what uh, feed the DC power into the inverter. And then over here on the right is a power queen. It's a 12 volt 200 amp hour battery hooked up with a AIM 75 amp charger. And this is just representing my load because I'm gonna turn it up and turn it down and show you how this system reacts to the various loads. So that's effectively the setup. Uh, I'm not going to get super deep into it, and then I, uh, I do have a short power cord here. Let me, let me show you this a little bit closer. So in essence, this orange cord here is my grid power. Um, I took this cord and I stripped out a chunk of it so that I can put the CT for the MultiPlus on here. Now typically, this is just for the demo purpose. Typically this would be on the feed to an electrical panel or something like that, but the main thing is it's uh, giving me the extra outlet so I can plug my loads in and this, this black cord goes to the input of the MultiPlus. So essentially what's going to happen is the power is going to come from the input. It's going to backfeed to this three outlet end of the cord and then to power the loads it's going to come back out and go to the load and we have the current sensor here to make sure none of that power goes back into the grid and the goal here is so that none of the power comes from the grid. So where this is practical is if you have your solar controller, you wanna use the solar power instead of the grid power to run your load. Now this CT has two arrows on it. These need to point towards your loads or essentially away from the grid. So I have the grid on this side of the cord. The arrows are pointing away from the grid. That's very important or this won't work at all. One thing very important, when you plug into the current sense port here, it overwrites the internal current sensor in the MultiPlus. So one of the issues I ran into is I was telling the Serbo, and I'll show you the menu in just a moment, I was telling the Serbo that I was using an external energy meter, but it's not. It's actually the same setting as internal to the MultiPlus, and there is a setting in VE config that you need to check to uh, enable this. But this is effectively like it's the internal one. Um, it's just branched out so we can use it externally. Externally. I have the inverter connected to a Serbo GX. It is in the VE bus port here on the top right. And then I have the GX Touch 50 screen so that I can interact with it. I'm going to get a better camera shot and show you exactly what I've done here. Now this is a little tough because I feel like everything in my shop wants to create a glare on this screen. So bear with me here. Um, essentially in the menu, I've gone into the settings. The first thing I went into was system setup and I defined AC input one. This by default is set to not available. So I just went in here and set it to grid and then hit the check mark. Um, the other thing is on the I added the ESS assistant to the inverter. I'm not going to show that in detail because it's pretty straightforward and it's well documented. But essentially in ESS, what I was mentioning about the metering, I'm right here on this grid metering setting. I had it on external meter. This current sensor is not an external meter. It's part of the inverter charger. So make sure you have that setting on inverter charger. Um, Aside from that, my grid set point right now for this demo is zero watts. If you wanted to make sure you never exported power to the grid, you can set that at like 20 or 30 watts just so you have a little bit of margin. Um, but aside from that, this is uh, for the most part the settings that I have if you were to copy this. So here we go. I'm going to plug in the um, power cord to the battery charger over here to my triple outlet deal. And it's on. You can maybe see I have some lights on here. Um, so it's charging, the fan just kicked on, it's all noisy and stuff. And now if we look here at our screen, we can see we have 600 watts going to AC loads. It's pulling the power from the batteries. And um, you can see the grid is pretty much at zero because that's where I have the grid set point. And if I grab my meter here, I do have it set on amps AC. And if I clamp onto the power going to the inverter, you can see there is 4.8 amps, 4.9 amps coming from the inverter. And then one more test I want to do to show that the power is coming from the inverter. You see 4.9 amps on the AC input of the inverter. If I unplug the cord to the charger, you can see it drops down to effectively zero. There's just a little bit on here for the idle of the inverter, 
but um, if you look here on the Servo GX, the loads are at zero watts. So that is the ESS function with the external current transformer. This is a MultiPlus 2x120. Now, one thing I do want to mention, if you're using the AC in and out L2, that cannot be affected by this ESS functionality. And um, yeah, because essentially on a 240 volt system, L2 would only pass through this inverter. The inverter can't actually interact with it. So. Anyway, hope that helps you guys, and uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.